to take advantage of my Garmin chart plotters features and also my smartwatches special connective abilities I'm gonna to have to download the active captain app I tried to find it for my laptop apparently it's only for mobile devices so fortunately I have a smartphone and a tablet I can <clears throat> use to download the app Okay, so in order to take advantage of all the ways I can connect my Garmin devices, I have to download Active Captain from the Play Store. The download's underway. I'm at 12%, so I'm going to finish downloading Active Captain, install it, and then I'll be ready to link everything aboard the boat the chart plotter, the watch, etc. So Active Captain has over a hundred thousand downloads. 4.1 star rating. And should connect my watch, my chart plotter, my phone, my tablet, verb edit, everything will be synced. Should be interesting. So I'm at 31% downloaded. Making progress. I've been able to download the Active Captain app to my cell phone. I just have to log into my account now. So I'm going to enter my email, my password, and log in, and then I'll be ready to go to the boat and finish setting it up. All right, so I've entered my email, my password. Going to log in. I'm in Active Captain. So I'm going to skip the tour. So now it's prompting me to connect to Garmin Wi Fi, which is on the boat. It's part of my chart plotter. So I'm going to have to go to the boat to complete the setup process. So I have verified Wi-Fi is turned on on the chart plotter. So it would seem that my cell phone is connected to my tablet, which is a hotspot. Um, but I'm going to change the network to Garmin 5129 and get it to connect so that I can get Active Captain to sync with the chart plotter. It says connected without internet. Okay. That should be fine. So back, back, back again. It says I'm connected. Okay, it's found the Garmin 5129. So I'll select that as the device to use. Connection successful. 
So I want to enable simultaneous connection to the Garmin Wi-Fi and the internet. I think that's a yes. Notice enabling this feature may result in unexpected data charges, so you better have the, the unlimited plan. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes, enable cellular data, and I'm going to enter enable internet access across my cellular plan blah 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 etc so I'm gonna give it permission connection request active captains requesting permission to set up a VPN connection so I trust the source I'm gonna go ahead and allow it so that's a yes allow all of this give active captain permission to connect all my devices using the internet and the Wi-Fi network which I've established so so I've allowed the permission and I'm just wondering why I didn't have a button that would say yes okay yes you're allowed Okay, so I'm back in the active captain window. I'm connected to the Garmin 5129. I have some additional setup steps to complete. The first seems to be sync with plotter. So it wants me to pair the device so grant access so the app wants to access my location phone contacts etc so yeah go ahead I'm just going to allow everything and if something's annoying I'll disable it later okay make sure the smart notifications feature is enabled on your chart plotter and the smart notifications page is shown. So I think I remember seeing this in Active Captain Smart Notifications. So Smart Notification is enabled. The page is shown. So I verified that. I've given it, <laughs> I don't know if I want to leave pop-ups on, but we'll see. That can stay on for now. Need help, I'm going to click continue. Now it wants me to search for the chart plotter. I should be ready. I've got my fingers crossed. Hopefully this will work on the first try. It's giving me a countdown. 20, 19. <laughs> Okay, so it's buffering or loading or whatever you want to call it. Five, three, device not found. <laughs> uh, my mobile hotspot had Bluetooth enabled, so I've just disabled Bluetooth, and now Smart Notification says it's not connected. Apparently it was connected to my Android tablet and it wasn't allowing my smartphone to connect with Active Captain. So now I'm going to go back and try again and cross my fingers. Hopefully it works. So, after turning Bluetooth off on my hotspot, I'm going to try and search for the chart plotter once again. Hopefully this time it will find it. Smart notification feature is enabled. 
is enabled. I'm ready. I'm going to select continue. Ah, it's found my GPS map 8610 XSV and it's pairing with it. Apparently via Bluetooth. I thought it would use the Wi Fi connection, but apparently it uses Bluetooth. So, it is pairing. At least it's working. Hallelujah. Even though it's buffering for a long time. So, from Active Captain, I'm continuing the update process. So I've had to go to Active Captain on the chart plotter, open Smart Notifications, and I am pairing the cell phone with the chart plotter. So I'm pairing the chart plotter with the phone. I have opened the Smart Notifications page. It's prompting me with a pass key. It's kind of wild looking, a mirror inside of a mirror going into infinity.